Yeah. Hello, uh, this is Extreme Darian. Didn't expect to see me in person, did you? Uh, no, you don't have the wrong video. This is part five of the After Effects 360 rotation tutorial. Um, the reason you're seeing me in person is because this part is mostly about filming the footage for the rotation. So I thought I'd take the time to introduce the camera that I'm going to be using to film the footage. Um, and I only have one video camera, which is why I'm doing it in front of a uh, bathroom mirror. Yeah, bathroom. So, um, yes, this is the Canon PowerShot S3iS. Um, and I know what you're thinking. Yes, this is a still camera primarily. Um, it just happens to have a better than average 640 by 480, 30 frames per second, um, progressive, um, video mode. Um, now it's a very good camera. It takes great six megapixel still shots and very good, I think, um, 640 by 480 video. But, um, because it is 640 by 480 video, I can't really recommend it as a video camera anymore because YouTube is 1280 by 720 HD now. And, um, HD video cameras are so relatively inexpensive, cheaper than this was originally, that there's really no reason to not uh, not to go HD, um, if you're going to buy a camera. Um, but I don't have one yet, which is, uh, why this is the only part of this tutorial, which is not available in HD, which is very depressing because I was so very excited when I found out any of it could be in HD and now it's ruined because I'm filming in standard definition. But, you know, that's the break. So, uh, this is kind of awkward, um, bathroom mirror. So, um, I'm going to go set this up somewhere. Yeah. Ah, hello again. Um, uh, we're going to go through real quickly what we're going to need to do this. Um, this is Isaiah. He's helping. Um, anyway, so first off, we of course have the green screen. This is an 11 by 6 foot I don't think in meters naturally, so 11 by 6 feet. Um, a sheet of green screen that I got off of eBay for $37. Um, not so bad, but the point is you don't necessarily need to use actual professional green screen. Uh, I have over here a piece of poster board that I got for maybe $2. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. So obviously this isn't big enough to use for what we're going to use it for, but it gives you an idea of the different things you can use. You could probably get a bucket of paint and do up an entire wall in green, or another color that will work. It depends on what you're filming. This color, uh, this color might be getting a little too close to other colors. Um, but fluorescent blue, fluorescent green will work, and if it's far enough away from whatever color you're filming, your clothes color or whatever, it'll work. But if it's too close to your clothes color or skin color or what have you, um, or hair color, mm, uh, it might become a problem. So, but think creatively. You know, if you have brightly colored tiles in your bathroom. It might work. Give it a try. So, um, the next thing, of course, you'll need is a rotating piano stool or music stool or anything that rotates. The point is, I got this nice rotating thing and it rotates smoothly. If you have something that's big enough that you can stand on, which you can with this, um, it's just a little difficult. That's even better, so then you could do easier standing shots. But, you know, you could probably get one of these at a used furniture store, store for not too much, but if you have an old office chair that you could rip the arms of the back off, because um, those will get in the way, um, that'll work too. So, yeah, I'm going to set up the green screen now. Hmm. Okay, um, I have the green screen set up here, and I'm sitting on the rotating piano stool. But, as always, I forgot to mention something, so, um, what I forgot to mention is that you will need a lot of light for this. may not be an issue depending on where you're filming and, um, what kind of lighting the area has, but I have two of these set up, one over there, one over there, and, um, a kind of puny bulb up there. But what you're trying to do is minimize the shadows on the green screen, make keying easier, and minimize the grain that's going to appear in the footage, um, which will make keying easier as well. So, 
these uh, lights were maybe $20 each, so if you need more light, you can probably find some. So, um, yeah, I would love to take credit for the base effect that we're doing here, but unfortunately I can't. It's been used for years. Um, I was inspired to do it by wa- in After Effects by watching the documentary on the DVD of Robert Rodriguez's Spy Kids 3D. Um, the theory is that you move your actors or whatever you're filming in front of a, a stationary camera, and then you take the footage into a 3D environment and turn the motion into camera movement. So, all we're going to do for this shot is to get that rotation. All I need to do is um, I'm sitting down and it's going to be a waist up shot. So if you watch the original video, it looks like I'm still standing, but that's the power of just cutting between different shots because waist up shot and nobody knows I'm not standing. Well, he might hear, but in the original footage, you couldn't tell. So, um, all I need to do to rotate is when I want to start rotating, I use my feet to start rotating. I control how fast I'm rotating, and when I want to stop, yeah. And that's all you do f- to film the footage. Now, I want you to think about this. I have no on-set help here. Well, except for Isaiah, but he's not here right now. Um, so, you can have... Camera movement, a 360 rotation in your footage, you can star in the movie, and you don't need a cameraman. You don't need any help, but you have a smooth 360 rotation camera movement. I mean, how amazing is that? Which is why I really wish I'd thought of the effect originally, but, yeah. So, yeah. Oh yeah, and if you want to know how to film those standing shots that I have in the original video, oh yeah, that's really complicated. You um, stand in front of the green screen. Yeah, so not a big deal. We'll be discussing how I did get the little bit of camera movement um, in those shots um, when we get to that segment. But, yeah, so, that's it for this uh, part, I think, so I'll see you in the next part. Mm.